Hi there YouTube, this is the Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ladder battle. Uh, you'll notice I'm starting on the actual map and that's just to avoid the whole breakup thing that seems to be going on with the recording uh, during the loading screen. Uh, so my opponent chose the uh, Empire and I brought the Warriors of Chaos. I'm still trying to find a Warriors of Chaos build that is viable. Uh, so this is what I went with this time. Uh, in my front line, I'm alternating Chaos Marauders with Aspiring Champions. And behind them, I have four Forsaken. And the thinking is uh, here that the Aspiring Champions allow the Chaos Marauders to stay in battle longer than they previously would. You'll notice the leadership on them 74, so they're not going to flee immediately. And also they benefit the Forsaken because their Frenzy ability will stay in place uh, longer. Uh, on each flank I have a flying contingent. Here I have a Chaos Lord on a dragon. I've been thinking about switching him out for a, a Deathcaster, but I'm not sure on that yet. And with him are two Feral Manticores. On the other side just two Feral Manticores. Uh, my opponent's army, he has deployed forward and vanguard, one unit of outriders. Uh, for his main infantry line, he has five spearmen. Each side, they are flanked by demigriff knights with halberds. Uh, in reserve, he has two great sword units. Uh, he also brought the silver bullets uh, with their armor piercing. They're a great choice against dwarfs or chaos. He has a flying light wizard for the net. And he also has Karl Franz on his flying mount. So let's take a look and see how this develops. Uh, so right away I see those Outriders are close. So I'm going to go after them uh, with these two Feral Manticores. Uh, the others I'm pulling towards the center. Just to see what kind of opportunities will arise. And I'm moving my infantry up closer to his line. So he's going to notice them after his Outriders pull back. So now I decide why don't I hit uh, Karl Franz and also the light wizard simultaneously with my flying units so I begin to pursue that avenue and then as I come up I'm gonna see uh, that he has these silver bullets they were hidden to me before so I try to pull back but not enough time to avoid his net so he nets my two chaos feral manticores which is gonna make them susceptible to fire from the ground from both sides and he's gonna bring in Karl Franz uh, so not a good start uh, not being able to see those two and uh, I should have foreseen the net um, but anyways they're good they're gonna get a chance to fight with Carl Franz here and do some damage on him but obviously things are gonna be in his advantage but while he's focused on that my main line of infantry is coming in hard and I also have my flying units coming in on the left side to deal with these demigriff knights uh, they're a very expensive and dangerous unit and since I hit him with flying it gives him very little opportunity if any to charge and I'm also going to support it with infantry because I have a huge amount of infantry compared to him uh, over here he's chasing my one feral manticore off I'm fine with that I send the other one that was with him uh, towards his missiles and over here his outriders are going to get some shots off on my guys but they're doing pretty darn good damage against the demigriff knight so he's not getting good value here on the far left we have quite uh, struggle going on he's gonna bring down the net yet again and that uh, I hate the net so right now I'm chewing on his uh, silver bullets preventing them from shooting into my netted units uh, but he's gonna bring in Carl Franz to relieve uh, here on the right flank his demigriffs are trying to get away and I'm gonna recommit my infantry uh, to, to, the, to the infantry battles very soon realizing of course that I can't catch the demigriffs but Boom, what does he do? He turns around with his demigriffs. That's fine with me. That's a fight I'll take. Uh, over here on the left, he has just a unit of the great swords at this point, and my infantry's pouring in. His beat up demigriffs are opting to sit out for the time being. In the center, uh, he does beat up my manticore, but another one is headed towards his light wizard, and I have some infantry beating on Karl Franz. On the right, uh, I'm, my Chaos Marauders are finally failing. Uh, no surprise, as you can see, this Spiring Champion is too far away to provide his support. I've got these guys chasing that. I should have noticed that and fixed that, so we'll call that Micro Mistake of the Day. Although they are going to get a piece of them here, so uh, <laughs> I got lucky to get a hold of them, so I'm still going to call it a mistake. Uh, 
right now on the right side. I'm, I'm rolling up his line, trying to get across. He's going to bring in Carl Franz to slow that down. That's good. Uh, and definitely a, a target I'm willing to go after. So you see the Feral Manticore headed that way as well as some more Aspiring Champions. Over here I decide to, to add one more unit of Forsaken to the, to the mix here because I want to X this out, get it off the field, and not have to deal with it. The Flying Crew I'm going to bring in and, and, and pound on his Outriders here just a bit. Uh, they're going to run uh, the best they can and they're going to break very quickly uh, under that kind of pressure. So right now I just have one aspiring champion fighting his uh, Carl Franz along with some Marauders. He's going to get Carl Franz out of there. I'm trying to send everybody after him to prevent his escape, but he is going to get off the ground. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to keep this infantry going this way to wrap up the right. And on the left, he's going to get into me with these Demigriff Knights that he finally reactivated. That's really not going to be enough. My flying units go after the Light Wizard. Uh, he's broken. He's out of the fight. He had withdrawn Carl Franz. He's bringing him back in a desperate ditch to try to turn this thing around. Makes sense. Uh, so he's going to come in here and uh, get into the, the, me the melee that's going on here. So he lands, comes down. I'm going to triple charge him with flying units. And that's going to, as you can see, that's going to do pretty good damage to him. He does avoid the second hit, but the first and the third he eats. And very quickly, he's going to find himself out of life out of the fight and that's going to draw a concession from my opponent. So let's take a look at the tail of the tape. First off I want to say uh, good game to my opponent. Uh, definitely played well and I always enjoy uh, getting a chance to play people online. Uh, my Chaos Marauders did what I thought. They hung much longer than they normally would in the past and actually got some kills and they provide me just numbers on the battlefield because you're always su such a small army as Chaos. My Aspiring Champions aspired and inspired, but didn't do a whole lot of killing. Uh, a lot of that came from the Forsaken, uh, especially these two units. The Feral Manicores, I, I don't love them, but what I do like is the mobility of them and that you can use them to cancel out the charge of cavalry because as Chaos, you do not have anti-large cavalry and these guys are a decent replacement and uh, along with the Chaos Lord flying, uh, you can do a good bet. Uh, the reason why I mentioned per perhaps bringing a uh, Lord of Death uh, on the dragon instead or maybe even on a manticore is to use his abilities to uh, create terror uh, which I think could be very viable for this build there's a lot of scary stuff in it uh, to take a look at my opponent uh, his infantry did okay but not really good um, you know a lot of people bring these spearmen because they're cheap and the best way to deal with that is have highly aggressive infantry like Forsaken, uh, especially if they're boosted by Aspiring Champions. You can chew through them quickly. Uh, his Greatsword, one did well, one not so much. Um, but they were definitely the, the biggest challenge infantry-wise. The Silver Bullets got harassed a little too much and got stuck shooting at my air unit. So overall, I'd say they did well, even though their kill count wasn't high. The Demigriffs with Halberds, well... The only thing they had to swing at was flying stuff, and that's kind of hard to pull off, uh, especially when you have no chance at a charge. Uh, so I was able to nullify them. The Outriders did well for what they are, uh, but ultimately were not enough to turn the battle uh, against Chaos. So I, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback uh, on this build, what I can do to make it better. Uh, I don't know why I'm addicted to trying to find a competitive Warrior of Chaos build. It's cost me a lot of losses. Uh, I'm going to be honest about that. I've also been playing as the Greenskins and suffering a lot of losses there, trying out all the new units, so it's been kind of frustrating. Uh, but, you know, I think in the long term it, it's all for good. I've been through this cycle before. Uh, so anyways, this is the Magnus, and I will see you on the ladder.